girl. If you've never seen me before, go check out my other videos because they're pretty awesomely, amazingly woody. And if you like wood, then you'll like them. So go check them out and smash the big thumbs up. Right, today I have a new project. I got um, this little kit. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Um, off Axminster. It's a keyring kit and it looks quite cool. Never turned a keyring before. Um, so I'm excited about this one. It should be nice and quick, short video for you. So let's get to it. So I've just had a ratch in the timber store and I found this really nice piece of ash. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually got a bit of ripple in it. So I'm hoping that will show. Um, so at the minute, this is way too big. So I'm going to go to the bandsaw and I think I'm going to cut it over what I need to start with. So I'll think about 30 by 30 millimeters square to start with and then we'll cut it to length and get the um, drill press set up to get the brass tube glued in. So let's crack on with that. Find the center basically. I don't have a center finder, so I'm just gonna do it with a ruler, go to each corner and you'll get your center. Seven millimeter bit. Um, this is a lip and spur brad point bit, so I don't need to brad all this because this will find it anyway. Um, but yeah. So next, what we want to do is we want to put this in this little vise, and just square it up. So the hole should go nice and central in the piece of wood. And make sure you always wear your safety stuff. So specs on. Drill on. And let's drill this. Right, so next what we want to do is, um, let me zoom in, there we go, um, we want to, let me open this, so all we want for now is this brass tube and we want to glue that into the hole we've just drilled. And I'm going to glue that in with this. Again, I got this from Axminster, but I'm sure you can pick it up anywhere. Um, it's epoxy and it's five minutes. Although it's not actually five minutes. It takes more like 10 to 15 minutes. It lies. 
Okay, so basically, this is the one-to-one -one mix, so whatever you use of this, use exactly the same of this. And we don't need a lot, we just need a little bit. So let's do that. And what we also need to do is grab a bit of sandpaper and just rough this brass tube up just so it gets a bit of a attack to stick to the glue in the wood. Just rough it up, not too much. There we go. And I don't know if you can see, but oh, come on camera. That is actually roughed up. So I just use a nail to mix um, the epoxy up. Just because it's cheap and you can throw away, but you could use a wooden stick. Um, anything really. You want to make sure it's really mixed well. And then you want to put a little bit inside this. A little bit in and then cover the brass tube Got it. and then slowly push it in Do it slowly when it's squeezing out, it gives it a chance to just run back in a bit. And you just want it to go past a little bit because we'll flush that off after. And we'll leave that to dry. Leave it on its side so the brass tube doesn't slip back down or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll be back very so shortly. So this is dry now. Okay. And next what you're gonna need is a barrel trimmer. Now you're gonna need a seven millimeter barrel trimmer. And uh, this bit here will go into the brass tube and this bit will cut the top of the wood flush to the brass tube. So I'm gonna put that in the drill and we'll get that done. Um, well, my camera just failed and didn't record that, but basically Oops. it's flush now. Basically that just went inside all the way till it started cutting to the top of the brass. So sorry about that folks. But so next we're going to put this onto the lathe, so um, yeah, so the bushings are the same as a slimline pen, so put that on. In fact, I think I'm going to have to shorten it, or this was just a thing that failed, what we could do. Just pack it with one of those. So this doesn't actually have anything to do with this project. I'm just using it as a packer. I could undo this and shift it up, but for what this is, this will do. This is set to the pens I make, and I'd quite like to keep it set. So let's turn it.
this turned, what you want to do is get all the, there's only three bits left, but get the three bits. And the ring obviously goes on the bit with the hole. Um, so they go together. So we could even put that on, just like a normal key ring. There we go, on. And then you want to decide how you've designed your key ring, so how it should go. I could go this way, or I could go this way. I think this way looks better. So we'll go with this way. And so that means that that bit will go in there. Now, um, I use my vise for this. With two bits of leather, just to protect. What I do is I just slowly tighten my vise, making sure that it stays nice and square. And just keep on tightening until it's nicely on. And that's it nicely on. See? And then you want to do the same for the top bit. And there we go. And that's the key ring done. Yay! It's done. That's the project completed. Um, camera is awful at focusing at the minute. It could be because of the dust in it. I don't know. We're going to have to give it a good clean out. But it's actually really nice timber. See the ripple there? So yeah, that's it done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go smash the thumbs up button, give me a subscribe, and a share would be good too. Um, I like listening, reading, listening, read, reading. I like reading your comments so please comment if you want to um but that is my olive ash key ring completed i think i'm going to do another one of these and i think i'm going to try it in acrylic now i know what i'm doing it's a bit easier to start with i did get the blank out a bit too big so next time get it down a bit smaller probably will make it a different shape not sure what shape I don't know if this looks a little bit too much like a light pole. Hmm. What do you think? Too much like a light pole shape? I was originally just going to do it both sides, like this end, but then I thought it was just a bit too boring. So I changed the design and went with this. But I'm still not 100% sure on it. Leave in the comments what you think, and um, why don't you have a go too? So, thanks watching um keep an eye out for my next video it should be coming soon hopefully gonna try and be posting every two weeks and so yeah see ya